Sometimes people ask me how I come up with my ideas for projects, whether videos or writing. Most of the time I don't have an answer for them, but for this one I do. Righteousness. Let me explain. Recently I was at a queer wedding and I said to one of the other attendees that sometimes I feel a bit weird in LGBT plus spaces because since I'm a cisgender woman and I'm married to a cisgender man, sometimes it's not obvious at first glance that I am queer and I feel like I don't really fit in. And the other person said to me, I know what you mean, I'm asexual, but that's not a part of the LGBTQ community, so I'm just a proud ally. And let me tell you, my brain exploded because the A in LGBTQIA literally stands for asexual and aromantic, but that's another blanket. So to write this wrong, I decided to crochet an asexual pride themed blanket and send it to this person that I'd hung out with for a handful of times. In the spirit of queer audacity, I decided to develop my own pattern for this blanket. And since I was on a four hour long car ride and my husband was driving and I didn't have access to my journal, I researched and found an app that would help me get my thoughts out for the pattern. This is what I came up with. Basically, the central focus of the blanket is going to be a large heart with the asexual pride colors. So purple, white, gray, black, and then the background, the square of the blanket is going to be the intersectional pride colors. So Roy G. Biv, brown, black, turquoise, pink, white. The whole idea is to have ace pride melding with general queer pride because it's all under the same umbrella and we should be proud of that. Since I had my pattern once we finished our drive and got home, the next step was to get some yarn and test it out, like the same day, literally an hour later. No yarn is on sale today, that's not great. I really like the color of this though. I also really like this. So what if... Oh my god, what the heck? So here's what I'm getting. Uh, a new hook for this. And then I think I'm going to use the lighter for the outside of the blanket and the darker for the inside. And this is just for the test. I'm going to have to get more yarn for the actual rainbow and ace colors that I need. But first test. I, I just don't think my pattern works. I just think switching the like granny stitch, I just don't think it, it works for the switching. I think I'm going to frog all this and just try half double crochets all the way. I tried to frog it, everything ripped. So I guess it's just starting over with new yarn. Why is changing colors so hard? Or at least changing colors in the middle of a row. Anyway, okay, so current thought is instead of double crochet, single crochet, which will be nice because I was a little bit worried about the fact that because it was double crochet, it would end up being like twice as tall as long and the metrics might be really weird there. So let's try single crochet. Okay, and now I am not liking uh, this one. So I could try doing in the round, except while that might make the shape better, it makes the color changes harder. Unless I I can do the color changes like at the end of each round, so it'll be like the three colors emanating from the center, like a Powerpuff Girls blanket. Okay, well let's see if I can get the strategy to work at least. Here's where we are now. I don't hate it, but the like formula for increasing is honestly a little confusing and I'm not quite sure where the uh, the YouTube video that I followed got this from. So I did see some tutorials for a granny square heart, and in my experience, the whole point of granny square stuff is that it's really easy to figure out how to make it bigger. So I'm gonna go watch that and try that as well. We'll see which heart looks better at the end. I was wrong. It is just this one size. I'm going to check Ravelry and a few other places. I think I might have seen some other heart patterns. And of course, once I figure out the heart pattern, then I have to figure out how to do the striping for the blanket in the background, but one problem at a time. Okay, I switched to a different yarn. The, uh, the yarn that I made the sea monster body out of just I think it's a little stiffer. I think it's probably better for this project. This very, very nice soft yarn I will do something else fun with. I essentially took sort of the basics of this pattern and turned it into an actual granny square-esque pattern where we have the groups of three going around and around and around. So I'm pretty happy with this as a base. It'll obviously be a lot bigger for the actual blanket. For now, I'm just going to sort of test the strategy for creating a border. 
I am going to do that with a different color yarn just so I can keep track. And this will be more of like a tester to learn the strategy. And then after that, I will actually try to build a pattern that I can use and then break down into like, okay, here are the different colors I'm going to use because that's going to be complicated. Okay, so here we are now, and I have learned um, a lot. I think I did a pretty good job, especially once I got to the top, although it does dip down here, which I don't want, so I would just, whenever I make the pattern, I'll keep in mind to add an extra loop up here. The edges are a little wonky. You'd think by now I'd be good enough at keeping the length the same, but you know, if that happens and I make the pattern, worst case scenario, I'm planning on doing a border anyway. Here's where we are now uh, with maybe 12 rounds. I definitely have a good strategy at this point. It's looking good and it's, I think it's definitely a heart. Like I think it's very recognizably a heart. I know that I said this was going to be the pattern that I went with, but it was just looking not good enough. The, the two humps of the heart were just not substantial enough. So I started over and I came up with this, which I think, if I'm able to do the background, I can probably get it into the right position, get it like very obviously in shape, I guess. It's time for yarn. So originally I thought I might use blanket yarn like this isn't really twisted it's just sort of fluffy i've used that before but um i'm not a huge fan of it honestly it uh makes a lot of mess so now i'm wondering if i just get normal spun yarn and just do two at a time i think i'm gonna do that so there's the rainbow now we're going for the inclusive colors. Hello. The problem I'm running into right now is that we're halfway through the color list. And as you can tell, there's still a lot more of the heart. I want to insert some rows here. I thought maybe I'd repeat the inner ace pride colors and then reverse the rainbow. So back to like purple, blue, green. But the problem then is what if I don't make it or I overshoot the red up here? Then the thought is, well, okay, start from red up here, crochet down, meet in the middle, stitch them together with your needle, you know, it'll be fine. But then the question is, how do I get the length to be correct? Oh, I don't know what to do. It took me this long to have a mini breakdown. That, that's, that's good. It's been three days, four days. And the blanket feels really cozy. Okay, what if I crochet temporarily? Just align this way, just so I have something to meet up with with the red. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. morning day four um it's slowly dawning on me that i should have tested this more because i bet i could have if i tested little swatches more i could have figured out some sort of equation for the heart is this many rounds then this is how many rows it'll take to encompass it here's how long each row should be that sort of thing but this is what we got for now i am feeling not good uh, today. So I am back on the couch watching TV while crocheting. And I think what I've decided to do is just finish up the rainbow side so I can properly say, okay, this is how many rows there are. And then I can see how the edge lines up and stuff. It's obviously not what I want, but this is part of pattern designing 
is you try something, it doesn't work, you try it again. And I didn't do that with the plushies because it was too complicated, it was too frustrating. But this is a blanket. I can figure this out. Hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. Good morning, feeling a lot better today, but the couch is comfy. Why would I leave the couch? I have figured out a much simpler, a slightly simpler pattern. So I've got the design for the heart. Underneath we have the one that I'm not gonna use, and then this is obviously the one that I'm using for the test. It is, you know, half as big, which makes sense because I believe the like base yarn is the same, but for this yarn I used both strands, so like the front and back of the skein. I also used a bigger hook on the big one. Okay, so good news is definitely figured out the border situation, got all the way up and over, and I think it looks pretty good. I will count the rows and figure out how much I need to do for the final pattern. Bad news, I don't know if you can see it, uh, this is all extra. So is this. I think I gotta make, I don't think I need to make the heart smaller i think what i have to do is just take out some of the increases that i did in my like weird funky pattern so i'm gonna make another heart and i'm almost out of this blue if you want me to unravel anything for you that might be fun okay okay <laughs> i started going a little too fast We are halfway through and this is what we've got so far. I am pretty happy with it if I'm being honest. Okay, this is where I'm stopping for now because I have other work that I have to get done. Round seven, looking pretty good. We're getting some of that warping. I'm a little concerned that we'll end up getting the same folding problem. All we can do is see. You know, I thought it was going so well. We're on round nine. We're so close. I've done like two different variations of round nine now and, and we're getting those same folds in the same place. I know this looks exactly the same. I promise it's not. It just, it keeps happening. At this point, I'm just thinking of making the heart smaller. I don't think it's as bad, but it's not good. I'm going to try one more thing. And if it doesn't work, I will be completely changing my strategy for what a heart blanket means. I don't like giving up. That being said, I've been working really hard on this and it feels like I've gotten nowhere. It feels like I haven't reached what I want to reach, but I don't want to have nothing for my efforts. So I know how to make the heart by itself and that's cool and that's something and i do want to have my ace queer pride blanket and i bought all this yarn so i did see while i was searching i did see a granny square with a heart over it pattern and it looks really cute so i'm gonna sketch up a quick idea of what i am um, what i'll plan color wise I'm sorry, it's like less than a week of work, but I have genuinely been trying to make this happen. Um, and it's frustrating that it's not working, but it's okay because I'm going to make a nice rainbow heart blanket throw using the pattern that I have. And I just won't add the background. I just won't square it and it will be fine. But for this video, let's make the blanket. Good morning. I spent the last four hours that I was awake unraveling the uh, background of this blanket. So now we're just back down to the ace heart and I have decided to keep the ace heart because I really like it actually. And it'll be like a cute throw or something like that. Now I have all of these little <laughs> mini balls mini packs, mini swatches, I don't know what you would call these, of the various colors that were the background for this blanket. And I am going to turn them all into little heart granny squares. I'm still gonna get my blanket. We've got a nice purple heart. I'm going to be making six of these eventually. And then on the back, I've got the anchor points for the granny square. I do think just for my own peace of mind, I'm going to do the granny square on this one and just see how it looks when it's done so I can picture the full blanket better. That's pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know how I'm going to connect them yet. 
but I'll figure that out after I have all the granny squares. Good morning. So I got my COVID shot yesterday, which means that my, um, my arm is hurting, but luckily that's not the active arm when I crochet. So I have finished all these little hearts with their anchor points on the back and I am going to make them into granny squares now. So here's where I am right now. I have enough of the granny squares crocheted that I can tell that they're not going to be big enough to be like a full blanket or anything. So I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. My initial plan was to just stitch them all together, you know, pretty seamlessly and then um, put a border around with the like inclusivity pride color. So black, brown, pink and turquoise and white. And now I'm wondering if instead I should add an extra round of double crochet clusters around each one. Maybe I'll do alternating colors. So like around this one, I would finish the blue and then do black and then do brown all the way around. I would alternate that with like the pink and turquoise. That might be cute. And then I could stitch them together with white and then I'll have all the colors accounted for. And then I get to just figure out a border to do. The good news is I really, really, really love having the alternating colors um, for the border. The bad news is I do think it makes the red a bit underrepresented and the idea is like to create this stripe, I think. I'm gonna pull these out and then just do another round of like the base stripe color first. And then I will do the turquoise pink, brown, and black. I am feeling so much better about this pattern now. The hearts just to me look a lot better and the square looks bigger, which I really like. And I think the size of the blanket is going to be bigger now, which is cool. Here's what this looks like right now. And I actually really like it. I think it becomes less obvious that it is an ace pride flag, maybe with all of the hearts, all of the squares together, it'll be a little more obvious. But yeah, I like it. I thought this was going to be a short video, an easy little project. I'm currently extending the orange border on the first heart. I spent um, the last 20 minutes maybe weaving in all the ends. I mean, I was watching the end of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, so maybe more than 20 minutes. It's so strange because crocheting is so mindful and it should be about the journey, but I'm really focused on the destination now and I don't know if that's good. I don't think it's good. I think it's bad for me. I'm starting to get emotionally attached to some of my squares. Let me, let me explain. First of all, I'm calling this my lemon meringue pie square because it's the yellow with the white. Every time I get to crochet this square so far, super happy. Um, I've now decided that I love yellow when it's with white. Like normally, not a yellow fan, but these two together is amazing and I'm probably going to have to crochet more with this color combo. Absolutely love it. This is my Halloween square for obvious reasons. I was thinking of this as like a Valentine's Day square, but then someone said, oh, it looks like Santa Claus. So now that's all I see. This is my Incredible Hulk square. And then this is my chameleon camouflage square because it's the purple heart on the purple color. I decided to just leave it as is. And honestly, I, I think it works. But yeah, we're coming along, adding backgrounds. Right now I'm working on the squares that are the brown and then the black. I have finished all the pink and blue at this point. So it's coming along really well. It is always so nice with a project like this. It feels like there's a tipping point moment where all of a sudden it's, you can really see how it's going to look and it just feels so dang rewarding, especially when you know just how much work and effort in starting over has gone into it. Okay, and I'm done. Whew. Squares are done. Now comes the next part, attaching them, um, which I've never done before, so wish me luck. Ultimately, I decided to just use a single crochet for both top loops, and it looks like this, and I think that works, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, 
Here's how the blanket is coming. It is not done yet. It's just getting quite close. You can see we're missing something here and most of purple isn't even on yet. I am just so impressed by how having the white border really brings out the like stripe colors. I just think it looks so good. I'm just really proud of it. I cannot stress how much easier I thought this blanket was going to be than it turned out. I was just like, I've been designing plushies. Like a blanket's nothing compared to that. No. You know why? Because plushies have three dimensions and three dimensions can be kind of wonky. You can sort of, you can miss stitches and, you know, make up for lost room. Like adding the stuffing the inside, it covers so many sins. But this is two dimensions and that actually makes it harder because the geometry has to kind of work out. Basically I'm saying I was a fool, but now I've learned. And honestly, the blanket's looking so good and it's making me really happy. And I know it's not what I initially planned and that that's okay. I think we're done. Well, with the connecting. While it was in no way what any of us envisioned, I'm still really proud of it. I worked really, really hard, and I really do think that it came out really good. And I think that my friend's gonna really love it. It's not perfect in terms of Ace representation. I think that the hearts get lost a little bit, and because of how they're anchored onto the blanket, they're a little wonky, but I think it's okay. Ultimately, it's a blanket and it's comfy. It represents whatever we want it to represent and I wanted it to just represent queer solidarity and I do think it accomplishes that and that's what's important to me. So if you liked this video, please hit like, hit subscribe, share it with your friends who maybe want to make some nice queer pride crochet projects for people. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really soon. Cheers!